Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your love reading. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's see what is happening for Capricorn. All right. So we got some cards pulled. True love. Very nice. We have uh, Ice Queen. Ooh, ooh young female all right so somebody feels like this is their true love okay there's a lot of gossip surrounding a relationship here uh there could have been a breakup somebody is willing to or trying to win their person back someone doesn't like the fact that it is over it's done somebody feels like this is my true love i'm i'm handing you my heart in my hand or you have my heart in your hand you know be be gentle be tender with me but somebody is kind of cold you know i'm turned off to the relationship here um, somebody's more so concerned about it. it looks like feminine energy is more concerned about themselves how they look fashion dressing up hanging out music culture somebody is just not concerned about a love relationship about true love and destiny and soulmate and life partner somebody just doesn't want to be involved in that i heard that somebody let the hype or let the you know the um i don't know the constant attention that they're getting maybe online go to their head so they feel like they can do better elsewhere with somebody else um somebody just you know they wanted to explore their options they're not serious about commitment service coming out so somebody is willing to be in service to the other person to get them back to show them that they really want them that they're very devoted this is a dangerous place to be especially if your person left you and you you're trying to show them that you know you, you want them back Ugh, let's see um yeah i'm a lady a malady somebody can't get over it if it, somebody can't even get out of the bed it could be a masculine energy over this feminine energy leaving them leaving them stuck like this it may have come out of the blue it was uncalled for it was hurtful there's a lot of gossip surrounding uh, this masculine energy. Somebody is just not understanding what is happening and why. Yeah, messenger. It could be a message coming to you or someone sending a message to them. I don't know what part you, where you are, Capricorn. You know where you are. It's good news. It's a message in person. I don't. So this could even be a gift. It could be a gift and a message associated with the gift. Yeah, hope. Somebody's holding on to hope that things will get better, that their heart will heal. Yeah, constancy, but it's just damn constancy is coming out. It says that if things are going bad, it's going to continue bad. If things are going good, it's going to continue good. Merchant, maybe you'll get a little bit reprieve. You'll get a little bit consolation. You'll get a little bit of relief, but not a lot. Somebody is also spending money or trying to persuade another person to come back by way of buying them things. Yeah, friend. Some may be leaning on someone may be leaning on their friend for help or for advice. So someone may be trying to get information or juice a friend for in information also about yeah, I know it. Thought coming out. There's a masculine energy and deep thought contemplation about maybe this feminine energy juicing a friend for information like uh, about their person that left them. Surprise coming out. Okay, surprise ending. What turned out, what started bad can actually turn out good. Surprise. That is a surprise. Uh, a negative goes to a positive faithfulness somebody is stuck here somebody wants to be in a commitment somebody gave their faithfulness their all too soon their heart too soon it got trampled on somebody's definitely in love with somebody's going through deep sorrow at the bottom of the deck sorrow at the bottom of the deck you see that anyway um this this reading is all about a breakup so I can't deal with the fact that it's over. 
uh, or not even deal with the fact that it's over, but deal with the fact that, you know, maybe this person is not coming back anytime soon. This could be a temporary pause. The pause could last for, I don't know, could last for a while, could last for a short while. What do we want to tell Capricorn here? What do we want to tell Capricorn? The emperor, there's a masculine energy. You know, somebody who has all of their own things. I heard this person could be young, but they're like a, an emperor type of energy. Because the emperor is talking about 45 years old and up, you know. But this could be a younger individual who's like the emperor, set in their ways, very stoic. They're not trying to show any emotions, but they're really hurting at this point. Uh, yeah, three of pentacles. They're trying to show that they're willing to work or make something work. The advice here is to, yeah, ten of swords, understand that maybe you did all you can do, especially if you're masculine energy, to make something work. It just fell apart. You may have to deal with the despair here. Um, don't play the victim. Don't be overly dramatic. It is what it is. Start to accept. That's the sooner you can come to healing. Uh, the tens are about completion of fullness of a thing. It can't get any worse than this. It can only get better. It can only go up. So accept this for what it is at face value. If somebody doesn't want to be with you, they don't. Uh, get under some type of tutelage, study, guidance, spiritual guide. Listen to your inner voice, not your intuition, but an inner voice, a voice speaking to you, a higher voice, a higher calling. Uh, you need to get in, into some routine regimen about what do they need to get into routine and regimen about. It could even be that the universe separated two people to two very different people to bring them back together eventually. Let's see. Four pentacles. Yeah, you might need to get under some type of um, mentorship guidance about deep seated issues. That is Capricorn's energy there. Um letting things go deep-seated issues trying to dominate be domineering um be in control be possessive you know trying to be in control be possessive it's coming you're trying to dominate from a fear based um energy it should be out of love you know i, I i'm dominant where i want to be head or i want to be in the leader of this relationship because i love you I want to be protector and provider. I want to take all of the blows, if any, in this relationship or if any in life. And that's from a place of love, but it shouldn't be from a place of fear. I want to dominate you. I want to be in control. I want to be clingy. I want to be possessive because I am afraid, fear. I'm afraid of you leaving. I'm afraid of you changing. I'm afraid of you getting in front of me and then you deciding that you want to be the leader and then you leave and this you can't love from a place of fear. You have to love from a, or you can't um, be dominant. You can't be a leader from a place of fear. You have to be a leader from a place of love and, and loving, you know, that position also. So I don't know. Somebody's got to do some real deep soul work here. Okay. If somebody's gone for right now. That It is what it is. Um, if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do a collective reading, then I answer your questions. If you want to see me live, click the subscribe button, and then I click the bell button, all right? Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.